should try to stay out of sight.
must be the coffer that Xenia covers. You were sent by the gods.
reach them! What do you see? Not here, sir. Stay alert. Right, sir. Get out of the open. Encourage your mother.
found my coffer and rescued my crew. I know you'll find it ridiculous, but this clay doll was a gift from my mother. A strong figure she was, tough as Ira and clever as Athena. She cared for us after my wretch of a father got himself lost. For dead. I didn't expect that. No one is only one thing, my West Wind. True. Enough chatter. I have another use for your tongue and your hands. Your skills are needed. Yes. I'll go down with you. Perfect. Let me show you my private collection. Zeus, I would have been a goner there if it wasn't for you. Lucky I came by. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Epi. Well, Epizilos, but my friends call me Epi. Not that I have friends, necessarily. I'm Cassandra. Charm. You have the look of someone used to being out in the world. You look like you shouldn't be outside on your own. At all. It can't be helped. I've been overcome with adventure. I have, in my possession, a Mykinian tablet that leads to a sacred burial site. I'm calling it the Cave of the Oracle. Good for you. Mykinians were known for their elaborate grave sites, full of precious things. How precious? Ancient jewelry, ceremonial swords and daggers. So, very precious. If you escort me, I'll show you. How can I turn down the promise of precious things? The fates have delivered you onto my path, and thus we travel together. The fates have been known to have a sense of humor. Happening upon you, hero, is fortuitous. Glad to hear it. So, you dig through book row? No. Well, yes and no. I dig through dirt, too. That's what farmers do. I uncover our history. Sometimes, hopefully this time, will uncover ancient wonders. I hate to break it to you, but clay pots and dirt aren't that wondrous to most. I've dedicated my life to it.
something so much more than treasure to be looted. Is it, though? It's who we are. Knowing where we come from tells us where we are headed. You educated people in your riddles. Some people don't care about the past. They only want to steal something that will make them a few drachmi. Imagine that. Hard to believe. My peers are no more than treasure hunters and art dealers. Well, you did mention precious jewels. These ruins and relics are notoriously hard to find. I found this one through clever searching and deduction. Tell me more about it. The Kenyans held specific rituals. Some tales speak of objects made by the gods. Yes, the gods like to play their hand on occasion. Think of this, Mystios. How would you like to have had the gods help you in battle? A good warrior doesn't need any help from the gods or anyone else. True, true. But think of what we might find there. You think we'll find something with this power? See? Now are you interested? I certainly am. this stay back they seem drawn to this place i hadn't expected that does this have to do with whatever that name was you said the mykenians i don't see how they could know it must be related to trophonios i'll observe them and see what i can learn fine i'll search further inside wait take this steely piece see if there are markings that match it Not much of a burial site. Mules are buried in higher places of honor. The steely piece looks like it can be placed. This is... unexpected. <laughs> Something's in the way. Won't budge. This is more elaborate than I thought.
see what we have. Match Epi Stone. Hmm. This statue depicts a warrior. Epi will want to see all of this. We're in the right place. Unfortunately, my friend, it's been looted. All I found was this armor. That is highly significant. The Mykenians were a warrior culture, you know. So this must be a warrior's tomb. <laughs> well, it's a decent piece, but where's the rest of it? Hmm. That was only one part of the stele. If we can find the others, I can decipher the text. Maybe that will reveal more armor. The rest of the stele you speak of could be anywhere. If I can find clues for where to look, are you interested in finding the other stele pieces? I'll look for the others. Excellent! Now, I need to see those markings. Let's go inside. I didn't expect the stele keystone to actually be a key. I wonder what happens when all of them are in place. Even with only part of the stele, I can start to decipher the writing. What does it say? Um, I think that says, of the gods. Really? To think you were someone yelling for help not long ago. Look at me now. I think you're going to need all of them, though. According to this, it seems that the stele pieces have been deliberately separated. Wait, I found one already. It caught my eye. By Zeus! You're a natural at this. Did it also come with armor? Part of it. There must be a piece of armor with each missing stele. But why? This section here refers to a ritual. It doesn't explain why the armor was separated and hidden with a stele piece. Uh, maybe that was part of the ritual? We need to find the other stele pieces. Are you ready? If we found these, then we'll find the other stele pieces too. I'll go look. Even with the full keystone in place, some of the meaning may be lost on us. I have faith in you. Oh! You won't believe what this section says. Of the primordial gods. Primordial! That's interesting. That's ancient. It could just be a prayer on behalf of the warrior. That's what I thought too. Until I read this part. There's more? It mentions that the ritual will be activated. What ritual? I have no idea. I'm presuming it means we need all of the stelis in place before something happens. Do you have the location for the missing piece? This text is hard to make sense of. It appears to be a warning. Be careful when you explore the tomb of Orion. I'll be careful. The Dark Age has had its time. Why look backward? There is truth and insight in looking backward. Take Homer, for example. He often spoke of our past in his stories. Huh. So digging through dirt and cobweb words is your ambition? My role is to breathe life into the ancients. Do any of your peers support you in this? None. My ways are too different for them. If you're right, you'll gain their respect after this. Do you worry that your expectations are too high? It may be a dead end. How can it? The clues have proven me right thus far. 
The steel he mentions, a ritual that once performed, will activate something. What does that have to do with primordial gods? I have no idea. When we have all the steely pieces, we'll know. Time to go. Come on. <laughs> Whatever you're after, you're too late. They're all gone. Dead or mad. I don't understand. Who did this to you? I don't understand it myself. My brethren and I were drowned to this place, but madness took over. We fought over the artifact. One of them grabbed it and ran. Grabbed the steely? Searched the caves. That's where they'll be hiding. Beware the... <coughs> They're beyond reason. <coughs> Speak only to... Was this really influencing them in some way?
There may be some truth in this lore. Oh, is that blood on it? It's otherwise undamaged. There are people claiming that it speaks to them. What could do that? Strange. I don't hear anything. Do you? Words of madmen. Perhaps the next pieces will tell us more. This one needs a good cleaning. Let's hope the remaining ones are fine. I'll search for the remaining stillies. My peers will finally listen to what I have to say. It says the ritual will activate something. But what? What will happen when we have all the pieces? Will it lead to a treasure? Some of the translation is lost on me. This passage speaks of work. Hmm. What else? Um... This passage mentions something about inner vision. But the meaning is unclear. It's almost translated. Why aren't you happy? You tell me others are hearing things. They think it speaks to them. Yet I hear nothing. I feel nothing. This is an important find. You said so yourself. Why does it matter what others say or feel? I know. I see that it's important from a logical perspective. But what if I can't experience it? And this mention of worth, what if it means I'm not worthy? What if the gods are not worthy of us? Look, we aren't done yet, right? So, wait and see. You're right. Time to dust yourself off and focus. You're right. Looking for this? Oh! Excellent! Cheer up. Only one stilly left to go. You're right. There's a temple in the city of Orchomenos, near the harbor. You may find it there. Beating me to it. I'll have to take a closer look. Oh, is nothing sacred? Ancient and valuable relics were housed in this temple. Now the scum has taken it all and burned it down. They burned it to cover their tracks. 
The scum ran off towards town with an armload of our most sacred items. Likely in the beggar's quarter, from the look of him. These pots were broken before the fire. Battered scarf. I'm looking for someone with torn clothes. His clothes are torn, and they match the color. I found the final steely pieces. All of the armor has been found as well. I can hardly contain myself. This will be life-changing, hero. Primordial gods, worth, inner vision. What can it all mean? We'll know soon enough when you finish translating. Yes, you're right. The steely needs to be assembled. Come. This is the cusp of a great discovery. Will the gods speak to us? What will I say to them? What will they say to me? Does it matter? Perhaps when you read it. Yes, yes. Hmm. Only those who possess inner vision, a gift of the primordial gods, will be deemed worthy to wield power of the great Deep Sea. Deep Sea? What do you make of that? I am amazed. I don't understand. There's no change that I see. It's the same place as when we first arrived. Look around you. I see nothing. What do you see? The room has come to life. The gods are speaking to us. How can that be? Why can't I see any of this? Why should the gods not present themselves to me? I promise you, 
I have no idea. Is it because I'm not worthy? Do you have inner vision? It isn't fair. Epi, you have the tomb. And there will be other discoveries. Enough. Just leave me. Can you please leave? I don't understand. Is that Cassandra of Aiad, the eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, she who launched a thousand hearts? Alcibiades, I'm known by many names, but that last one sounds to be of your own making. My young friend Orchimethus here could use your legendary talents to woo the object of his desire. You would have my eternal gratitude. I'd like to know more about the man asking for my help. I'm Orchimedes. I came to Alcibiades because he boasts of his exploits as a lover and knows Braxila. I'm a Mystheos, not some famed lover. Nonsense! I've heard that our Mystheos here is the only one allowed near the pirate queen Xenia's booty. What's the job? Have you ever heard of Braxila? The name sounds familiar. Who is she? Who is she? A poet blessed by Apollo himself. She describes the gods as if they were her lovers. Her lyre is a legendary weapon wielded in her hands. I want to meet her, but talking to a goddess such as she? Terrifying. Oh, nonsense. Usually you give a woman some flowers and she'll show you her flower. However, this is Praxila. She is not easily impressed. Of course. No ordinary flower will do. 
They need to be worthy of a goddess. I come to this coast every year for the poetry festival. Of all the beautiful blossoms, none match the scent and radiance of the coral rose. Fetch some, and all doors and legs shall open for you. I'll return with your flowers. Where can I find the coral rose? It sounds rare. Mm, you would be correct. However, like all good things in life, these take more work than most are willing to expend. They're atop a nearby mountain. Say I do get these flowers. Where would I bring them? Back to camp? Braxilla should be in her tent. You mentioned being here for a poetry festival? I did. It's one of the many festivals to Apollo, but this one holds a special place in my heart, among other places. Other festivals are so stuffy. Here we worship like maenads. I've heard enough. Please, if you are as skilled with sword and heart as Alcibiades says, you'll return to me with the coral rose. As a poet, it's best that I stay at camp while you do the hiking. You'd be an easy snack for wolves or bears. I'll return with the roses. must be the coral roses. I found your coral roses. You're back! That... that's perfect. The roses are perfect. Oh, look at the luster. The fragrance. Now, you must deliver them to her. You came all this way to meet her. You should be the one to do it. Please, I'm much too nervous to speak to her. I composed a poem to recite. Here. Let me teach you. I'm not saying any Malaka's poem. That's your job, not mine. Then I must rehearse. Will you at least deliver the flowers before they wilt? Fine. But you'll do the rest. Okay. She's at her tent. That's right there. Go give them to her. Praxila. I have flowers for you from Orchimedes of... somewhere. Did I not tell you to get the wine five minutes ago? <gasps> Cassandra Vaillard, may I introduce you to my dear friend Praxila, Apollo's muse and mistress of the Golden Strings. Your Praxila? Didn't expect an aged bard, mercenary of Ayat? It would be foolish of me to assume a master of the craft would be young. 
Praxila, this is Cassandra Vaia, eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, launcher of a thousand. Cassandra, ca A true genius. Look at those shoulders. A soldier, a Spartan, a thorn in the side of tyrants. She who dares challenge Poseidon. Alcibiades, this one I'm keeping my eyes on. The poems she writes about me are never so kind. I have flowers for you. They're not from me. They're from uh, Orchimedes. He's right over... Well... He was over there. A coral rose? Huh. I'll have to get my servant to add this to the pile. It's a gift. Show some gratitude. Where is that servant girl? I swear her head must be rattling with rocks. Mm, I wish she'd rattle my rocks. A haikos is missing. That idiot must have taken it with her and run off. A haikos? Ahaikos is Praxila's legendary liar. I set it down after tuning moments before you arrived. I can't go on stage without a Ahaikos. I did see Orchimedes leaving in quite a hurry. We need to get that liar back. Please, without Praxila getting everyone's juices flowing, this festival is just a bunch of young men measuring the size of their verse. This liar was special? Can you play another for your recital? Perseus without winged sandals or a mirrored shield was just a man. Would he have the same legends, the same mystery if he performed each task without a legendary weapon? It's very valuable, both in significance and in drachmi. Orchimedes and the missing servant both disappeared as the lyre was stolen. They could be working together. Oh, and he seemed like such a nice boy. Alcibiades invited the viper into my tent. Is there somewhere they could have taken it? It's a poetry festival. There is no better hub for shady trade. I'll find the thief and return the liar. for a man named Archimedes. I know an Archimedes. Otherwise, no. He might have been holding a lyre? There are as many men holding lyres here as there are blades of grass on a field. <laughs> Praxila's lyre has gone missing. Have you seen it? Praxila's lyre is missing? That's terrible news. First, no every pedis, and now this? Crepsis really has gone to the dogs. I'm looking for a missing liar. And we all. Are we? Uh. <laughs> Have you found my liar? I'll find the thief and ret Do you know a man named Orchimedes? Orchimedes... Orchimedes... That's the kid who hangs out around the Vipers. Yeah, I know him. He's been coming to the festival for three or four years, maybe. The Vipers? Who are they? You know how it is. People feel small, so they band together to make the rest of us feel smaller. They took over the temple of Athena a while back. Now it's hard to take the road without being held at knife point. Do you think that's where Orchimedes would take a liar? <sighs> Hope not, for his sake. The Vipers are dangerous. If he did have the lyre on him, they'd probably rough him up for it. 
He's one of those kids that'd be keeping around for fodder, if you get me. Did he have a liar on him? I didn't see him with one. I saw him talking to you, then walking towards Praxila's tent. He and Praxila's pretty elot have been sneaking around lots. Just assume they were, you know, planting a garden. Is the Temple of Athena the best place to sell a stolen liar? You can buy and sell anything here, unfortunately. But going to the Vipers guarantees the person you stole from won't follow you in. Shame. It was such a beautiful temple. Thank you for your help. Hope you find the Lyra. Watch out for the Vipers at the Temple of Athena in Tonia. that servant the one who disappeared at the same time as the liar i can explain or he made this talk to me into it and said he'd use the drachmi to buy my freedom when we escaped he said he wanted to bring the liar to the vipers i said no the viper said yes so the vipers have orchimedes and the liar now as for you you can go back to praxilla and apologize if you really want help If you come any closer, there's gonna be trouble! That must be where they're keeping Orchimedes and the liar.
Yes, I am saved. These horrible thugs blackmailed me for stealing the liar. I doubt that. They took it from me when I was captured. Malaka got what they deserved. Did they force you to steal Praxila's liar? No. They gave me the confidence I was lacking. We would drink and complain about poetry at the festival, and I let slip that Praxila's my mother. What? Praxila's your mother? She is. She abandoned me and my father when I was a child. Something about following her destiny to be a wandering poet. My father, Achaikos, built the lyre for her as a wedding present. She loved it more than us. I just... I wanted her to feel the way we did when she left. Praxila got what she deserved for abandoning her family. I just wanted her to feel some of the pain I felt. Why don't I feel better? Archimedes, I know you still have the lyre. Give it to me. It got broken in the struggle. Alaga! Wait, before you leave, I need some advice. Should I talk to Braxila? I don't know what to do. Approach Braxila as yourself and talk to her. Maybe she missed you and didn't know how to come home. I need time to think about everything. My father, my mother, my friends. Please don't tell Braxila who I am. I was able to get the liar, but not in one piece. Thank you. Oh, hi, Cos. What mischief did you get yourself into? Oh, Cassandra, thwarter of thieves. I appreciate you bringing a high cost back to me, but I need to ask another favor. You need help fixing the lyre. Perceptive, too. Look at it. Wood's gone soft, body splintered, it's toneless, toneless even. What can be done to save it? Cressis has been having this festival for years. The town is built around it. Of course, because instruments are as fragile as a poet's heart, there's a master lyre maker at Cressis Port. Not too far away. And since it's been proven that nothing is safe on these hills, I'll need some muscle for protection. I can help you get there safely. The journey will be worth your while. Come now. I'm right behind you. I have many fond memories of this place. I've watched the port grow into a town, and a small gathering of friends grow into a massive festival. It's more home than home. Your true love is a liar, and your home is a poetry festival? You never wanted to settle somewhere? Oh, you sweet young child. My life isn't as simple as you make it out to be. I'm like Zephyros, needing to go where I please. I learned this the hard way. So you care only for your paradigmatism and you live your life for others. What's the point? You're nothing but a slave, a loyal beast at best. People can get hurt. If I had been born like this, traditional and domestic, I would have died. Died inside, and like is not, thrown myself into the sea. I know what I need. Seems like the festival here is much less formal than the others I've encountered. Yes, Dionysus claimed our offerings to Apollo and granted us the gift of ecstasy. 
I can see why it would attract people from far and wide. Do not misunderstand. Hidden is one part of worship, but then... Timiha, where are you? Who is making all that fucking noise? Ah, uh, the smell of the sea is almost enough to cover your stench, Timiha. Raxila, I've been gathering fruits to throw at you all week. High praise coming from you. I need a favor. A Haikos was kidnapped by some idiot and needs a new neck. This idiot? Sadly, there have been many idiots on this journey. I hired this muscle here to get a high cost back. Now she's keeping me company. All right, get him here. Poor fellow's been brutalized. But you can fix it, right? Of course I can fix him. I am the best pair of hands you're going to find outside of Athens. Problem is, a high cost is a special boy. I have materials, but nothing would be of putting him together. What materials do you need? I have what I need for the neck, but the old one took the strings and yoke out when it snapped. Ah, there's a crack running through the sound box. That needs to be replaced. What should I be looking for? Some use bone for the yoke and neck, but nothing beats wood in my opinion. Strings are made from gut, and we could use a shell for the sound box. Those strings don't look like guts to me. They are. Just soaked for a long time and pulled thin. I'm sure you'll enjoy killing some legendary beasts to help a Haiko sing. I've seen some liars with turtle shells for the body. Not a lot of turtles on this coast, but a good sturdy conch should do the trick. What's a yoke? And what wood do you need to replace it? The yoke is the crossbar that all of the strings are attached to. Sure is. It needs to bend, so a springy wood is best. I think we all can agree on that. I will return with the materials to repair a high cost. animals. I'll gut them for Praxila. Hope these are enough guts for fixing a high cost. should be perfect for Praxila's liar.
should be enough wood for a new liar. I have everything we need. Excellent. Give it here. Be careful with it. He like me better when I'm done. You always were too rough with your fingering. Well, that's the first complaint I've heard about it. There he is, looking more handsome than ever. You call this your best work? You're robbing me blind. Oh, shut up and go deafen the masses with your wailing. Thanks for the help. Here's your drachmi. I need some time to put a high cost through spaces. I might need some help after, though, so swing by my tent when you have a minute. Sure, if I'm in the area. The Mistyos returns. Do you have time to accompany me and Achai Kos to our triumphant performance? After all this, I wouldn't miss it. Excellent. We team up once more. So we're a team now. Can I still expect to get paid? After my performance, Drachmi will be in no short supply. Trust me. You've dedicated your life to your art. You must have a lot to show for it. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Luckily, some have survived to touch people. Do you have any favorites? There's one I'm well known for that is very dear to me. The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. Then ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears too. Sounds nice. But we should get going. So, cucumbers. The sun gives us the fruit of the trees, like the fruit of the lawns. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> Not me. Avernus. He's being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh. Why is he being asked this? Adonis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be fain to leave? I see. Looks like we've made it. Marvelous. Thank you. Looks like my adoring fans are ready for me. Be sure to catch the show. It's Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila, recite something for us. I've been reciting this poem for years. Cassandra, would you do me the kindness of allowing me to hear it anew from your lips? I couldn't. Nonsense. You know everything you need to do it justice. How about something new this year? The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Praise be Apollo! Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. This is one of my favorites. Then, ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears, too. 
That's always been my favorite verse. I'm happy my poem touched you so deeply, Cassandra. Have you thought about trading your spear for the lyre? I will stick to swinging swords, thanks. It wouldn't be a poetry festival without someone causing a disturbance. Praxila, get to safety. I can handle them. Every year, some cursed idiots drink too much wine and get themselves killed. I didn't know poetry festivals were such lively events. Indeed. I need to take a moment to recover. Let's go back to my tent. Ah, but we do have a happy ending. Praxila. It has taken me long years of soul-searching and many nights of tears to bring myself to this moment. I am Archimedes, your son. When I heard the name of the man who stole my lyre, I suspected it might be you. I dreamt of hurting you as you hurt me and my father a thousand times. But I only knew you as the mother who abandoned me and not as the artist that I just saw. Just as Adonis lamented the beauty he left behind, I too left that which was most precious to me on the death of my old self. You're not dead. Neither of you are. Take this opportunity and see what you can build together. Thank you for all your help. <laughs>
τετραγωνία κινείται μεταξύ τριών παντού. What? When? Thank the gods you're here. A hunting party has been attacked outside the city, near the cursed land of Oedipus. Any survivors? This man saw dead bodies, but he could still hear screaming. There are many dangerous beasts out in the wild. If someone is injured, they won't last long. I need you to go and rescue whoever is still alive, and put an end to the dangerous beast that attacked them. All right, I'll destroy the beast and see if anyone's still in one piece. If they are, bring them back to me, and I'll do what I can to save them. There are a lot of hunting grounds nearby. Where should I look? They were sighted following animal tracks around Snakehead Rock. Do you know what attacked them? Not for certain. The roar could have been from any number of beasts. Many predators call the wilds of Beotia their home. How many people will I find out there? It sounded like only one hunter was left alive, but hunting parties usually contain three or four people. I'll go and find the trail. what's left of the hunting party. Thank you. Thank you. I owe you my life, brave hero. I need to get him back to Hippocrates before he bleeds out all over me. Thebians. Cowards that surrendered to Xerxes. How's the patient? He'll survive if I treat his injuries. If? 
This man is a monster. He's a slave trader who treats people so terribly that they injure themselves just to avoid working for him. <sighs> if I help him, he'll continue to hurt others. But if I choose to do nothing, many will be spared pain and suffering. It shouldn't matter what this man has done. He deserves to be treated like anyone else. We can't judge others when they're at our mercy. I know it's my duty to help this man, but if you'd seen some of the injuries I've treated that he's caused, you would understand my doubts. The innocents of the Greek world have suffered enough lately. What if I free his slaves? If he has no slaves, he can't mistreat them anymore, and you'll be able to treat him without guilt. Yes. I can save this man. And you can prevent him from hurting others. Our kindness here will show him the error of his ways, show him a different path to walk. You would do this for me? Of course I'll free the slaves for you. Thank you, my friend. Where are the slaves being held? I remember paying a visit to a camp on the riverbank east of Lake Kobais to treat a slave for self-inflicted injuries. I'd try there. Are hunting parties often attacked this close to the city? It's quite unusual. But with the war raging all around us, and the plague consuming everything else, it's no surprise the beasts are becoming more desperate. If the slaves are in danger, I will need to hurry. I need to talk to her. I see him. I see him. Thank you for freeing us. That beast Galeos has worked us all to the brink of death. Now I can return home to my family.
I freed the slaves. I've treated his injuries enough to stabilize him, but he isn't out of danger yet. I don't know if I can bring myself to complete the treatment. I've freed his slaves, and his business is finished. Perhaps our kindness will show him there is another path. If I do nothing, I'll be no better than him. I'll make sure he recovers. When he does, be sure to tell him how his life was in our hands. Only the gods have the power to decide life and death. What I do is insignificant compared to their benevolence. I've seen you save many from a trip down the sticks. But look at the plague. For all my knowledge and experience, I could do nothing against it. I have to accept that my reach only goes so far. Thank you for your help, my friend. I must go. I have an appointment with a patient elsewhere.